Prego. Ciao mondo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mom, and Bruce Scott, because we are in Austria taking a cappuccino after my presentation at the European Society of uh, uh, Renal Association and Dialysis and Transplantation, ERA, EDTA. This year, the lecture on carpe diem and uh, new options of uh, dialysis for AKI in neonates has covered the whole story on the development of carpe diem and the whole story of our own department interested in treating babies over the years. In 1982, we treated the first neonate with continuous arteriovenous hemofiltration with mini filters designed by our group in conjunction with the Amicon company that doesn't exist anymore. After that, many babies were treated all over the world until finally double lumen catheter and machines for continuous renal replacement therapies became available. However, very soon it became evident that these machines are designed for adults and are used off-label in the neonate and small children. Uh, in babies that may weigh 2.5, 3 kilos, these machines display high level of inaccuracy, even though the uh, circuit has been adapted and adjusted to reduce the blood volume in uh, uh, the priming uh, circuit. Now, the truth is that uh, in spite of that, this machine remains highly inadequate and uh, we felt important to start development of uh, a new machine specifically dedicated for neonates. And after five years of development in conjunction with an Italian company, we were able to develop uh, what is called today the Cardio-Renal Pediatric Dialysis Emergency Machine, Carpe Diem which is a technology specifically miniaturized and designed for neonates. The first case was treated and published in Lancet in 2013. And since then, after we demonstrated the possibility to treat this baby with a four French lumen catheter, bilumen, which was very, very small and not usable with any other machine, we practically showed the possibility and paved the way for other people to treat babies with weights as low as two kilograms. At this point, uh, we are uh, performing uh, new studies and we have the 2.0 version of the machine in which also it is possible to perform continuous venovenous hemodialysis. And uh, we published uh, in Pediatric Nephrology recently a paper showing high clearance uh, even with blood flow in the range of 10 mLs per minute. When I say high clearance, I mean four to five milliliters per minute, which in neonates is a very, very high clearance. Now, at this point, uh, we have collected in a retrospective registry almost 40 cases of babies treated all over Europe that uh, had an average treatment duration of 4.5 days and an expected mortality rate of 78%, while the effective mortality rate was 42%, almost 50% reduction in mortality. What are the new plans for now and then? Well, we have a prospective registry data collection, uh, and also we have uh, the possibility to export the machine into the United States. FDA is uh, willing to get this machine and proper uh, regulatory, uh, uh, let's say, um, actions are taken to make available the machine in the United States. I think that basically our plans are all these plus to save many, many lives of neonates with AKI around the world. And with this, I thank you very much for joining today, Cappuccino from Vienna, and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Ah, excellent.